Jesus. Lord, we appreciate you. Lord, we give you the praise. Be thou magnified. Be thou exalted. 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 In Jesus' gracious name we have prayed. In Jesus' mighty name we have given thanks. Hallelujah. You know, there is this one man that daddy keeps referring, the man that he said that the man had money. Hallelujah. And during the coronavirus, the man was lamenting. And he said, ah, the helplessness of money is that when you when when you need it, when you know when you need life, when you are in need, that money is is just helpless, hallelujah. With plenty of feet in your pocket, you are not able, it's not able to save you. Where am I going? When we say thank God, you are looking at the things that you do not have, hallelujah. When we say thank God, you are looking at that money that you have not made. When we say thank God, we are, you are looking at your bank account that is in red. When we say thank you, you are just to you, to you, to you. There is any reason to thank God, please. Look at me and begin to thank God. If you don't have any reason to thank God, look at my household, look at the church and begin to thank God. Hallelujah. Because you know what? If it is by righteousness, you are not qualified. If it is by money, you are not qualified. If it is by good things, you are not even qualified. Many, many, many are much more qualified, more than you. And yet they are not here. Hallelujah. They are not here. My brother, my sister, I want you to think back. Hallelujah. I want you to think back. I'm just in this age, this God. Look at this God, what he has done. Despite your unfaithfulness, despite your shortcomings, despite your weakness, despite your inability, despite everything, the Lord was there. Hallelujah. The Lord was there. Do you know how that the Lord saved you from? Do you know how many sicknesses and diseases that are flying everywhere and yet you are standing here? Do you know what the enemy has planned for you but the Lord said no? Hallelujah. His mercy, his mercy over your judgment and here you are standing. Hallelujah. Here you are standing. Why don't you just say, Father, I thank you. Lord, For you are standing here. You are standing here. I wish you would be able to thank this God. I wish you can tell this God I thank you. I wish you would appreciate this God from the bottom of your heart. I wish you would tell this God, Father, I appreciate you. I wish that you would tell him, Lord, I thank you. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. Be thou exalted, King of glory. Be thou exalted, the shape of thee. Be thou exalted, I am that I am. In Jesus' glorious name we have prayed. Amen. I want us to take a prayer point. Hallelujah. From the book of Psalm 107, verse 31 to 32. All that men will praise the Lord. Hallelujah. For his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men. Hallelujah. Let them exalt him in the congregation of the people and praise him in the assembly of the elders. Hallelujah. I am still talking about thanksgiving. Hallelujah. I am still talking about you thanking God. Hallelujah. Many saw January, they did not see February. Many saw February, they did not see March. A lot of people planned, they, they planned so many things that they want to achieve. They were not able to do it. Many even saw 25th of December 2022. Hallelujah. And right now they are in the mortuary. Many saw 26th. Many saw today. And right now they are not here. Many planned to be in the crossover services. And right now they are not here. Hallelujah. They are nowhere to be found. What am I saying? 
If we continue to enumerate it, to count it, to give name, we will count it, we will not be able to end. We will not be able to stop. Hallelujah. But the Bible says, for the Lord has broken the gates of brass. Hallelujah. And cut the brass of iron and what asunder. Why don't you just lift up that name? Tell him, Lord, I thank you. I thank you. I thank you. I thank you. Why don't you just lift up your voice and say, Father, I thank you. Just tell him, Lord, I thank you. I thank you, King of glory. I thank you, ancient of days, for what you have done in my life, for what you have done in your church, Lord, for what you have done in our congregation, for what you have done in our families, oh God, for counting us worthy to be among those
Hallelujah. And this is testimony time. Testimony time. Blessing time. Hallelujah. Every one of us here we have testimony. Hallelujah. For us to be alive today, for us to be in this state, just less than two hours now to be in the next year. Hallelujah. That is enough miracle already. But some of us want to share our testimonies for the whole world. For everyone to put the devil to shame and in this. And when you share your testimony, greater things we God do for you next day in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Hallelujah. I want to call on my sister, Dickonet, our dear beloved Dickonet.
so glorious in my life. When my when my father passed on, I couldn't take him and I went to my mom's sister's place. So when I went there, I was fetching water then. I didn't know when the water was coming from my side. I was carrying a of water on my head. And the next day, the motor just stepped on my head, my two legs. I couldn't put on cover shoe because of the pains every now and then. But since the time I left there, I came here, there's been a difference. I can put on shoes, I can wear heels at any time because God has been so faithful. He has healed me from the motor injury. And the Lord has been so faithful in my life. Since the time I was born, to 2018, I did go to a city frequent now and then go out again. But since 2019, I stepped my feet here. I have not visited a hospital. I have any issues to take drugs or anything at all. But God has been so faithful in my life for keeping me alive to this moment. It's God's grace. I am so grateful to God. Praise the Lord! God is working in this place. I'm here with believing Gospelology. Yes, gospelology, which is the application of the Word of God to, to actualize, to manifest divine reality. You know, God has made us second Adam, which is a life giving spirit. I yes, we are not the type that frequent hospital. When, when you step your feet into here, this place, into the sanctuary of the living God, and you believe in the Word of God. Things will surely change for you in the name of Jesus. Thank you, God, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. I call on my sister, Mr. Doris, hallelujah. I just want to appreciate God for my children and for my family as well. God has done so much for me this year. I start counting. I just want to say thank you, God. Uh, a couple of days ago, I went to the market and uh, they told me, they told me my last daughter had draft kerosene. So I panicked. I called on um, Mr. Agile and where is it? <laughs> Mr. Agile is there. And then after I called on two of them, so <laughs> I panicked. So they helped me rush out to the hospital. But with the glory of God, we were discharged that night. And he told me she was okay, that nothing happened to her. So I just want to appreciate God. She's here, here and healthy. I just want to say praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Bible says that even and stop you. Or we take any deadly thing, say nothing shall be end in us. Hallelujah. The world is alive. Hallelujah. I call on my brother Victor. Hallelujah. Clap for him. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Destiny changer, you are the destiny changer. Come and change our destiny, our destiny today. Come and change our destiny, our destiny today. Destiny changer. Oh, 
deserve all the glory and all praise the Lord and our standing and our lifting of our hands in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We're still appreciating God. Hallelujah. Amen. God has been so wonderful, so good to this ministry. We are so grateful to God for his faithfulness, for his presence in his ministry, in his church. Jesus has been the Lord of this church. There is no other in the name of Jesus. Amen. And we ascribe all the honor and adoration to him. In the name of Jesus. Amen. And also, like you have all the testimonies, the world really works here. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. No matter what you come in with this night, it will be dissolved. Amen. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. To appreciate God, I want us to open our Bible to Psalm 103. So that any of you here can tell me. If God is not who he says he is, and if he has not done that he said he will do in your life, in our nation, in his churches, in the life of everyone, praise the Lord. From verse 1, he said, bless the Lord of my soul and all that is within me. Is somebody here to bless the Lord oh, yes. with all your soul? you. Yes. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. To bless him and his holy name forever in Jesus' name. Amen. And also verse 3 says, bless the Lord oh my soul and forget not oh my God. And forget not all his benefits. He daily loves us with his benefits. Every day that you sleep and wake up is because of him that sustains you. In the name of Jesus. Amen. He says he's the shield brother about you and I. He's the one that delivers us at all times in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we thank you for your benefits. We're not taking anything for granted, oh Lord. In the name of Jesus. Amen. And he said, who forgive all our iniquities? And who healed all our diseases? Do I have Oh, yes. Hallelujah. Amen. And he who redeemed that life from destruction. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Like Nicholas say, every day people are dying. Praise the Lord. Even as we come, you see, when I went out for evangelism, when I see the young ones, I was telling them, come and end in his presence. Praise the Lord. Because I know what the youth does. You know, this night they will do one manner of hey, on four things. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. But I want them to end in his presence. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And I believe God some of them are here with me. I thank you for coming to this thing. Amen. Okay, but so I said, who redeemed their life from destruction? Who granted thee with, oh my God, his loving kindness is it? and his tender mercy. Praise the Lord. Who satisfied that man with good things? Praise the Lord. Did he satisfy that man with good things? Yes. Has he delivered you? Yes. He has kept every one of us safe. Praise the Lord. God has been so good. Who satisfies our mouth with good things so that our youth is renewed like the eagles in the name of Jesus. Amen. And he said to us in Psalm 107 verse 20, he sent his word. His word is alive here, like the Messi said. His word is alive here. Praise the Lord. He sent his word and he delivered them from all their destruction. Praise the Lord. And like you go there say, everybody that is still eh, being bound, you will be set free tonight. Yeah. If you believe, as you believe, there shall be a performance. Yeah. Up to you and I. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. If you can believe that all things are possible to him. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. Praise the Lord. I want us to wave our hands. Please, anyone, you children, stand. Worship you. 
I lift up my voice. I give thanks to you. I say thank you for what you have done. Not only for me, not for my family, for every member of this commission, and for our friends wherever they are. Lord, we thank you. We thank you. Because we are alive today because you answered our prayer. We are praising because you answered our prayer. We are praying because you answered our prayer. We are here because we answered our prayer. And we lift up our voice. And we say thank you, Lord. 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 All glory, all honor belongs to you. No one made it here by his power. No one made it here because he is very righteous. No one made it here because he is well connected. We are all product of grace. We are standing here because of grace. We are giving thanks because of grace. And Lord, we say thank you. 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 And all glory, and all and power belongs to our God. Belongs to our God. Belongs to our God. Forever and ever. Forever and ever. Forever and ever. I want to lift up our voice and say it again, Lord, I am about to enter into a new year. Lord, I am asking you again that in your mercy, take me to the end of 2023 so that I can come back to give thanks to you. Lord, give me a safe passage. Lord, keep me, Lord, protect me. I have come into your presence to seek for divine insurance. I have come to seek for the protection for the new year. The new year. You know the end from the beginning. Lord, we just have our voice and pray. That you will take us into the new year. That you will take us to the end of the new year. That you will give us the grace to come back here. To come back here. To give glory and honor to your holy name. To testify of your faithfulness. Our Father, our God, we give the poor voice to pray. Lord, give us safe passage. Give us safe passage. Lord, give us safe passage into 2023. Till the end of 2023, Lord protect us, Lord defend us, Lord keep your people, Lord give provision to your people, that the name of the Lord be glorified, that the name of the Lord be glorified. I love you, Hussein. I love you, Hussein. And so shall it be with you. So shall it be with you. So shall it be with you. So in the name of Jesus Christ, every appointment with death is terminated now. Every appointment with accident is terminated right now. Every appointment with misfortune that they are terminated here now. You will have a self passenger. The presence of the Lord will surround you. His goodness and mercy will be with us. In the name of Jesus Christ. If you know that is you, shall they be hallelujah? Shall they be hallelujah one more time? And by the last time, shall they be hallelujah? And so shall it be. And so shall it be. I want to welcome each and every one of you to this special crossover service. Those of you that are here, those of you watching online, those of you in the micro churches, I want to say a very, very special welcome to you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. You are not only crossover, but you will make it through the deep and the In the name of Jesus Christ, because you have chosen to honor the Lord this day, the Lord will also honor you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Reach out to somebody and say, I want to welcome you special in the name of Jesus Christ. Come on, welcome somebody. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ, you are welcome. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' precious name. I know that you are itching to see 12 o'clock. Hold on, it will happen very soon. 
Please take your seat, amen. amen. He that has brought you in so far, you will also let you see 12 o'clock. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I want to say a very special apology for those of you watching online. I noticed or I understand that the network is having a bit of challenge. As you know, on a night like this, every network is overloaded in this country. So please, it's not our fault. We can do what we can, but we cannot control what we cannot. Praise the Lord. And um, I know that very soon, a lot of things will change because um, I heard that this man, Elon Musk, is introducing the Starlink uh, satellite internet provision in Nigeria. Amen. And so that means we will have a super, super, super option in the next few weeks or months as he introduces that satellite uh, internet provision called Starlink. But I went out. The Lord will help us this morning. We are also recording the service fully so that we can upload it in the morning so that you can be able to see what what is happening here is happening all over the nation because the networks are over subscribed presently because of the services. Amen. As you also know that even the power supply is also up because the same thing is happening. Every network, this is one night that every network is overloaded. Praise the Lord. But thank God is only one night. Amen. Thank God is only one night. And after that, by New Year, by New Year, which is tomorrow morning, everything will be back to normal. Praise the Lord. Amen. I am glad that this is one day that everybody goes to church. Almost everybody goes to church. Amen. Even those that argue if there is God or not today. Amen they make their way to church because uh, some of them say, Lord, I want to promise from today I will not lie again. <laughs> they go to church to make that promise. Some keep it for one week. Some keep it for two weeks. Some even try it in Easter. And there's a Lord that have tried. The next year, praise the Lord. But for those that are here or in different churches or watching online, or in the microchip, wherever you are, and you honor the name of the Lord, the Lord will also honor you in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Very often, when we come together in a night service like this, crossover service like this, people want to hear what is the Lord saying? What will next year be like? What is the word of the Lord like? And then they are ready to write to me even before the pastor will speak. What if there is nothing? What if the pastor says, the Lord don't tell me anything? Uh. Amen. What if the pastor says, the Lord said, the one I said last year, you will not finish it? <laughs> Amen. Praise the Lord. I didn't say that. I'm only asking the question. Before you pack your bag and go. Amen. I didn't say that. But we are in for a treat this night. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Because the presence of the Lord and the word of the Lord is in our midst. I so said, we can be sure that we are in for a truth. But I don't think the IT people are ready to play just one minute video. Are they ready? There's a video that I will let them to play. You see, if everybody remember, the pandemic started in 2019, isn't it? And, and then, it shut down the global economy. When you're ready, just go ahead and play it and let me know. It shut down the global economy. And since then, there has been a lot of struggle. Nations are struggling. Coming from America to Europe to Asia to Africa, there has been a struggle because of one pandemic. One pandemic, praise the Lord. And it has hurt everybody, almost everybody. Amen. But the Lord spoke to us to prepare us, to equip us, and as many as have heard the word of the Lord, they were saved from the pandemic. I remember very well that throughout the pandemic, we were having services here. We were having services. And every service we were having communion. Praise the Lord. And throughout that time, to the glory of God, Nobody had Corona or COVID. 
COVID in our midst. Shout hallelujah. See, we need to understand that God's word carries power. And God is not a man that he should lie. And God is faithful to his word. In the year of that pandemic, when we were here, the Lord said to us that the year 2020 will be a year of supernatural breakthrough for us. How many of you remember? We were that service, praise the Lord. But there was something that the Lord said to us with that service. The Lord said, supernatural breakthrough is not for a year. He said, it is for a season. How many of you remember? You can go back to YouTube and you can listen to it. When the Lord said to us that, we are entering to a season of supernatural breakthroughs. Now, the Lord also said something to us. He said to us, and I, I, I remember I said it very clearly. He said the pandemics will go for three years. It doesn't matter what America says. It doesn't matter what Europe says. Right here, the Lord said to us, this pandemic, it will go for three years. And for those that know their God, it will be a season of supernatural breakthroughs. Praise the Lord. And then we enter into that year. Then 2021, in a service like this, now the Lord said to us, it will be a year of worldliness. You remember? Yes. A year where we will use the word of God to produce results. A year where the word of God will be our operating platform. It means that it is still connecting to supernatural breakthrough, praise the Lord. Because every supernatural breakthrough is powered by the word of God. And every word of God that you apply is faith in action. It's faith in action. Amen? So, the word of the Lord came to us heavily. Heavily. I remember one of the prayers, because Kalista led and also Romy, and both of them were saying the same thing in their prayer at different times. That the word of the Lord, the revelation has been heavy in this commission. That the word has been strong in this commission. Praise the Lord. You know why? Because every miracle, every wonder, every sign that is not powered by the word of God is temporary. But the miracle that is a product of the word, it will last. It is eternal. Praise the Lord. And when God said to us, supernatural breakthrough is a season that we run through the period of the pandemic. Last year, as we were here, the Lord said to us also that it will be a year of what? Supernatural visitation. Remember it? Now, I've given you the word of the Lord in the last three years. Then, supernatural visitation. What does it mean? I was just talking to our daughter just a few hours ago, and she said that indeed it has been about a year of spiritual visitation. Praise the Lord. And maybe the Lord has not touched you in the way that you are expecting, but He has touched you in the way that the devil cannot touch you. Praise the Lord. He may not have delivered on what you were calculating, but He would have delivered on what you didn't know. Praise the Lord. And the Lord is still doing wonders. But there was something that the Lord said to us also last year that was very important. The Lord said to us, stay away from pain killers. How many of you remember that word? How many of you? Very few. Amen. The Lord, you see, until you keep track of the word of God, you wouldn't know what to do to receive a miracle. The Lord said to us, Stay away from what? Faith killers. He didn't say stay away from unbelievers. Who is a faith killer? Who is a faith killer? The Bible says in Romans 14 that whatever that is not of faith is sin. Anything, anything that is not of faith is what? Anything that does not proceed. Romans 14, 23. Anything that does not proceed from faith is what sin. Now, in Hebrews 11, the Bible says that he that comes to God must believe. Before that, 
He says, without faith, it is impossible to please God. Praise the Lord. He says, without faith, it is impossible to please God. For he that must come to God must believe that he is. And he is a rewarder of them that do the judgment. Seeking. So, when God said that we should stay away from faith killers, he was practically saying to us, stay away from those that will make you look displeased. Me, praise the Lord. Don't worry. Praise the Lord. Now, what does it mean? It means that when you stay around people that destroys your faith, they will cause you to displease God. When you stay around people that will dilute your faith, can you open to Hebrews 11? Hebrews 11. Outside Israel. 
to feed his prophets. They were. He gave the word. And then he went to look for the widow. And getting there, you think that this is a rich widow. The Bible said the widow was gathering sticks to go and prepare and eat her last meal and die. Can you fancy God sending you to somewhere that is broke? Amen. Say this God is an awesome God. God. And that is why when many put God in the box, they miss him. When many evaluate God according to their senses, they miss him. When people navigate God from their digital platform, they miss it. God is not on social media. Are you hearing me? Please, I want you to know that God is not in the places we are looking for Him. And God is only in one place where you can find Him. Where is God? God is in His Word. Look at His Word, you will look at God. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Unfortunately, this is one area people don't want to go. They don't want to go to the Word of God. Why? Because they have more important things to do. They want to listen to music on YouTube. There are messages on YouTube. You will see strong teachings, but nobody is listening. You will see any kind of music, one million view, two million view. You will see strong word of God, 20,000. 30,000. Does it not amaze you? It amazes me. You will see a teaching from Papa Adeboye. They will say 50,000 view. You will see a music from one guy that is unknown from nowhere. 500,000 view. Does it not bother you? It bothers me. That is a problem we are dealing with currently. Amen. A generation that likes to dance and not to celebrate God in this world. And then as we gather here today, the Lord takes the opportunity. The Lord speaks to us. As I was studying and spending time in the Lord, the Lord asked me something. He said, do you know why faith is so important with me? I said, Lord, I, I suppose from what I have read from the word. He said, go back. Go back and look into the word. Look into the word about faith. He said something to me, and believe me, I, I practically stopped what I was actually doing. I began to dwell upon that. He said, he said, faith is the currency that my people don't know how to use. They have not understood how to use it. He says to me, first, if you want to get the best from me, you need to please me. And yet, without faith, you cannot please me. And faith comes from my word, and my people don't have time for my word. He said, go back and look. Let me tell you, please don't go. This Hebrews, praise the Lord. From verse 30. Hebrews 11 from verse 30. God began to open my eyes in a different way. He said, I want to show you why the devil does not want my people to walk by faith. He says, from verse 30, the Bible said, do you have the Bible? Yes. Hebrews 11, verse 30. He said, by faith, the walls of Jericho felt and after they were in cycle for seven days. Is that the Bible? Yes, sir. Verse 31. He said, by faith, the hand of Rahab did not perish with those who did not believe when she had received the spies from with peace. Verse 32. And what more shall I say? For the time will fail me, the church of Gideon, and Barak, and Samson, and Jephthah, also of David, and Samuel, and the prophet, Pastor Tituri. Everybody read it together, Pastor Tituri. Who through faith subdued kingdoms, worked righteousness, obtained promises, stopped the mouth of lion, quench, verse 34, quench the violence of fire, escape the end of the sword, out of weakness were made strong, became violent in battle, turned to fly the armies of the enemy, and shout hallelujah. hallelujah. This is what faith, 
The Lord began to show me in a different dimension what faith can do. Did you ever read praying and fasting here? Did you ever read what praying and fasting did here? Faith, faith, faith is the hardest currency on planet Earth. It is the best currency on planet Earth, and yet it is free. And yet, many people don't get it. And then, the Lord showed me something. I want us to go to the book of Joshua, please. Open your Bible. We all know who Joshua is, right? Joshua took over after the death of Moses, right? Joshua chapter 10. God began to show to me what is possible with faith in a dimension that we have not been able to dig in. Dig in. My prayer is that you will cross over into 2023 with strong faith today. Amen. You can do much more. Amen. When God said to us, stay away from faith killers, he was trying to position us for exploits. Are you hearing me? When God said, stay away from people that talk normal. Stay away from people that talk carnality. Stay away from people that try to reason my word, my instruction. He was trying to prepare you for exploit. I would rather, I would rather stay with a man that will drink water and he's broke in his pocket. And the man says, I am going to buy a Rolls Royce tomorrow. He's broke. He's drinking water. And he's saying, forget to I'll buy Rolls Royce next week. Amen? Amen. That to stay with a man that eats cow meat, chicken meat, goat meat, drink wine, and have a big house. And the man is eating. You know, there are people that eat as if they are suffocating. When they are the only one eating. And the man is saying, I am rich. I have everything. I would rather stay with the man that drinks the water and speaks faith than the man that eats in abundance and speaks carnality. Because I will go further with the man that said, I will buy your own choice. Praise the Lord. How many of you know? This man of God called Dr. Omar. Dr. Omar Mopai. Very few of you. Praise the Lord. Many years ago, when he did not have a house, let me pray that he didn't have a house in the village. And it was Dr. Mopai that shared this. He was teaching somewhere. And the brother, his brother was with him on the pulpit. And he was talking about faith and the things God is able to do by the faith. And he told them, he said, his brother is here, he would like his brother to come and greet the audience. In the church, big church, big meeting. His brother came. He said, Church, I greet you. And they said, uh, Welcome. And, uh, he said, Church, let me tell you something. Wrong. This Dr. Mopa, you can see, he doesn't have house. <laughs> Praise the Lord. He doesn't have house. All these things he's saying, he doesn't have house. You can imagine that the man of God was walking. This is your brother. Amen? Our fathers in the faith, Bishop Oyedepo, he went to minister somewhere, long time ago, long time ago. And then he spoke about faith and what faith can do. And when he finished, the man that invited him to the microphone and said, Some people talk about faith. We are walking in faith. Because at that time, Bishop Eripo had a beetle. You know this push and drag beetle. And then the pastor that invited him was driving Pedro 504 with AC. So you can see the level. At that time, Pedro 504 was a land cruiser. At that time. And Bishop Hedepa said that his leg was wobbling as the man took his message of faith and pieces it together because he drives a bit He was the one sharing this. Over time. Over time. 
the result of faith cannot be accurate. The production of faith cannot be contended with. One day, Papa stood on the book and said, Where are my mockers? We should really go to say, Where are those that mock me? Today, the man has more than one private jet. Are you hearing me? You may not like him, you may criticize him, but he didn't buy it with your money. And he didn't buy it with church money. He bought it with his own money. Praise the Lord. What am I trying to say? The Bible said, by faith, they subdued kingdoms. By faith, the wall of poverty came down. Now, I said the wall of Jericho. But let me tell you, the wall of Jericho is easier than the wall of poverty. Are you hearing me? You know, there are different levels of poverty. There is a normal poverty which everybody suffers. Those that don't have, especially those that are not in Christ, it's called general poverty. Amen? You know what looking, you don't know it. Let me help you. There is, <laughs> there is a graduated poverty. Praise the Lord. The graduated property is the one a man says is the case. You know, said, I have something to say, I'm not easy to say, the case. Not the pillow. You will send the pillow case before you send the pillow. And then after that, you will send the bed cover before you send the mattress. Are you hearing me? That's what we call graduated poverty. And you keep adjusting to that level. But let me tell you what faith is done. Faith comes to the level where you are. From where you are, as long as you lay hold of faith, you don't go down anymore. From where you are, you begin to rise. Your rise may be slow, but you will continue to rise. Are you hearing me? It may not be as speedy as you want, but you will continue to rise. One thing about faith, is that it never leaves anybody worse off. Go and ask those that have survived cancer. Go and ask those that they say their case is hopeless. Go and ask those that they say that they are non entity. I know what Dr. Paul in nature said. He said, if you come to this place as a non entity, you will end up as a son entity. Yes. Chef, hallelujah. Hallelujah. And we are all a product of that word. If you come here as a non-entity, you become a sub-entity. Praise the Lord. Many of you have testified, both left and right, you used to be sick. Since you joined this ministry, you've not been sick. Are you hearing me? Because the word works. It's not only in Nigeria, even in Germany, when this ministry started, that testimony is the same. I used to be sick, and now, praise God. I am here. Do you know why? We bring the word of God that we minister unto you. What did the Bible say? Exodus 23 25. He says, And you shall serve the Lord your God. He said, I will bless your bread and your water. And the Lord says, I will take sickness and disease from the midst of thee. Exodus 23 25. You are in this service tonight. With that one scripture, sickness and disease can come to an end in my life. Amen. How many words does it take for a miracle to happen? How many words? How many preaching? How many? No, it's not multitude of words. It is not weeks of preaching. Every word of God that you will act upon, as you act upon it, it will produce a miracle in my life. And that is why, don't be friends with those that talk normal. Are you hearing me? Don't be friends with those that talk about the way the economy is. Listen, a believer does not function with natural economy. We function with divine economy. Shout hallelujah. I wish you would get it. I wish you would get it. It's called theohebronomics. Don't be shocked. 
Praise the Lord. We are talking about technology that is God that is directing it. God moves it as he wills. God moves you as you should. God talks to you and says, take this step and it will be profitable step. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. That is the kind of economic direction we are talking about. Listen, concerning the pandemic, the world has been wrong with pandemic. America, they are saying this. China, they are saying this. Globally, the world lied to you about coronavirus. They lied to you. But God will never lie to any man. He says, in Luke chapter 10, verse 19, he says, Behold, I give you power to tread upon serpents and upon scorpions and upon every power of the enemy. And the Lord said, and the Lord said, Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. He said, Nothing, 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 including Corona. He said, Nothing, including COVID. He said, Nothing, including Ebola. He said, Nothing, including malaria, high blood pressure, all the possibilities. Praise the Lord. Yeah. I 
and we left the hospital. And I think that was on a Tuesday. And then on the Friday, we were meant to have all night in church. And so as I left the place, I just said, Lord, I'm giving you thanks because this guy is here. He cannot die. The word of God has delivered him and rescued you. Amen. We had our Wednesday service. I spoke to the wife. I think when God said, the wife said, everything is you know, he's recovering. You know the one that I took even me on our way. We were having all night on Friday. On Friday. And while I was ministering, this young man walks into the church now. Hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. He's tired and he walks in. I said, Is that you? He said, Yes, Pastor. I said, What? You told them he's healed. If anybody will believe that word today, it will do the same thing in my life. It is for the same reason the devil does not want you to have faith. Because the devil knows that the day you let go of faith, he knows that he has lost you with poverty. The devil knows that the day you lay hold of faith, he has lost you with sickness and diseases. The devil knows that the day you will lay hold of faith in God's word, it means that your destiny is restored. The devil knows that the day you lay hold of faith, he knows that your marriage will be restored. He knows that your children will be restored. The devil knows that there is nothing that is impossible with faith with God. Shout hallelujah. The Bible said in Joshua chapter 10, like in every other situation, there was five nations that came together to fight against Joshua. There were five of them. There were five of them. And the Bible said there were trained armies. And you know that Israel didn't have a trained army. They came out of captivity. They were brought out of Egypt. They didn't have an army. They didn't have police. They didn't have weapons. And so when they are facing twin army from other nations, they don't have a chance to survive. When God called Joshua, if you go back to Joshua chapter 1 verse 8, you see that the one word that God entered him said, be strong, be courageous, be strong, and be courageous. In that chapter 1, God gave that instruction to Joshua more than three times. You know why? Because Joshua was going to see what he never planned to see before. Joshua was going to have an encounter he never thought he was going to have. Praise the Lord. Yeah. And then Joshua said, Lord, okay, okay, okay. Be strong and be courageous. I am strong. I am strong. I am courageous. The Bible says, the five nations, they marched against Israel. The Bible said Israel was afraid. Amen? Amen. But if God be for you, <laughs> shout hallelujah. hallelujah. If God be for you, Amen. let's go to Joshua 10. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm going to just repeat some verses because of time. We are getting close to 12, and this service, you know. We have to close early because we have service tomorrow also. Verse 5. Therefore, the five kings of the Amorites, the king of Jerusalem, the king of Hebron, the king of Jamut, the kings of Lachish, and the kings of Edom, gathered together and went up, they and all their armies, and camped before Gideon and made war against it. Praise the Lord. Verse 6. And the men of Gideon said to Joshua at the camp at Gilgal, saying, Do not forsake your servants, come up to us quickly, save us and help us. For all the kings of the Amorites who dwell in the mountains have gathered together against us. So Joshua ascended from Gilgal, he and all the people of war with him, and all the mighty men of valor. Verse 8. I want you to pay attention. And the Lord said to Joshua, Do not fear them. Praise the Lord. Tell somebody do not fear next year. No, 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 no. Tell somebody do not fear next year. No, 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 no. And the Lord said to Joshua, Do not fear them.
For I have delivered them into your hand. Not a man of them shall stand before you. Shout hallelujah. Verse 9. Joshua therefore came up on them suddenly, having marched all them from Gilgal. Verse 10. So the Lord routed them before Israel, killed them with a great slaughter at Gideon, chased them along the road that goes to Beth Horn, and struck them down as far as Azekah and Marketer can see. Praise the Lord. And it happened as they fled before Israel, and we are on the descent of Beth Horn, that the Lord cast a large hailstorm from heaven on them. As far as Ezekiel and they died, there were more who died from the hailstorm than the children of Israel came with the sword. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Then Joshua spoke to the Lord in that day. In the day when the Lord delivered up the Amorites before the children of Israel, and he said, In the sight of all Israel, this is when a man takes charge over nature because of faith. So, Stand still over Gideon and move in the valley of Ajalon. So the sun stood still and the moon stopped till the people had revenge upon their head and the shouts and the moon. Say, that is my God. Say, that is my God. I don't know what you are thinking about next year. It is for that reason the word of the Lord is coming to us. He said, faith is the instrument for exploits. What is the Lord saying to us for this year? Come down and tell you. Joshua, by comparison, militarily, he didn't have the strength. He didn't have the weapon. Now, how many of you know Ukraine, Ukraine, Ukraine? How many of you have heard about Ukraine war? Many of you, you know? Now, I'm talking about Ukraine war that is still happening, not the one that happened 20 years ago. Only very few. My God. Very few. Praise the Lord. You know that if Ukraine was left alone, Russia would have buried them. Praise the Lord. Is it not true? They can't stand up to Russia in any way. If Ukraine is left alone, left alone. But again, there is something that is behind Ukraine. Are you hearing me? Even the Russian generals have admitted that they can never defeat Ukraine, no matter what they do. They said, as long as America is behind Ukraine, no, call the name. America. Call the name. America. They said, as long as America is behind them, oh, ah. They said, no, no, no. He said, we can never defeat Ukraine. We can destroy the city, we can cause hell, we can kill them, we can them, but we can never defeat Ukraine. The only way you can defeat, you defeat Ukraine is to remove America. But that's not possible, praise the Lord. Yeah. I want you to picture you and God working with you. And the devil, like Russia, launching every missile at you, attacking you from every side. And then as they are fighting and fighting and fighting, and somebody goes to Lucifer and says, okay, that man is a new creation. Do you understand what it means to defeat you? We can, we can hit him. We can trouble him. Whatever we can, we can do. But as long as the Almighty he dwells in the shadow. He dwells in the secret place of the Most High God. You cannot overcome. You cannot. We cannot kill. The, they will tell the devil. Remember John. You did everything. You couldn't kill John. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen. I am telling you why the devil does not want you to have faith. Are you hearing me? That is one thing that will make it impossible for you to be killed. Any man with faith in God is unkillable. It's what? Unkillable. It's not possible. You may stagger, you may faint, you may struggle, but the righteous can fall seven times. Yes, again, they will do what? David said, I have been young. Now I am old. I have never seen 
the righteous forsaken, nor his seed beg bread. What is the issue? Is your appointed time. Praise the Lord. If you read the book of Esther, there was a man that called, that was called Haman. He wanted to kill a, a Jew called Mordecai. He had planned everything to kill the man. Praise the Lord. But the man refused to bow before the man. And then he went to the wife and to his wise men. He told them, I have tried everything. But Mordecai refused to bow before me. The wise men and the wife said to him, Who is this Mordecai? He said to them that Mordecai is a Jew. They said, Ah! He said, What? The Jew. The Bible said, His wife. And the wise men, they called him and they said, You may be the commander to the king. You may be the king right hand man. They said, Listen, if Mordecai be the seed of the Jew, if he is of the Jewish descent, if Mordecai has come from the seed of Abraham, he said, Listen to me, Haman, the man is unkillable. You can't kill him. He said, Not only can you not kill him, but you will fall before that man. Hear Haman. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Is there the seed of Abraham here? Yes, Is there anybody that has an origin in Abraham? Yes. I have news for you this night, this crossover salvation. Forget the wise of the enemy. The Bible says we are not ignorant of the devices of the enemy. All that the devil has is called devices. Are you hearing me? It's called what? But there is something that not of devices, isn't it? You don't get that. The devil has what? Devices. What do you do with devices? You can turn them all off, right? And Paul says we are not ignorant of the devices of the enemy. So when devices drop you, what do you do? You off them. And if you drop you, what do you do? Scholars it and throw it away. Praise the Lord. Every device of the devil, you can throw it away. Shout hallelujah. Sickness is a device. Yes. Disease is a device. Stagnation is a device. You only need to come to the right doctor to be taught how to overcome it. Amen. Amen. There are specialist doctors in some cases, isn't it? The man who says, the man who says, and the Lord fought for Israel. Praise the Lord. The Lord did what? The Lord fought for Then, let me read verse 13. So the sun stood still and the moon stopped till the people had revenge upon their enemies. Is it not written in the book of Jesha? So the sun stood still in the midst of heaven and the Lord hastened to go down for about a whole day and there has been no day like that before it. Or after it, that the Lord hidden the voice of the man. For the Lord fought for Israel. Shout hallelujah. For the Lord fought for Israel. Don't you consider the Lord will fight for you? Yeah. Oh, oh, I, I wish when you go home, you know, you, 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 you read this. You read this. The Bible tells us in the book of James that faith without works is dead. Faith without works is what? Dead. I pray you will come to church tomorrow because. You are faith to start walking from the right. Yeah. You are faith. I don't know why the devil does not want people to get faith. I don't know why the devil fights for faith. I know it. Because we too, I have to fight the fight of faith. Nobody will overthrow the fight of faith. It's not possible. As long as you are a Christian, you must fight the fight of faith. Paul said, I have fought a good fight of faith. Say faith. Is an instrument for exploit, for promotion, for transformation. How did Joshua overcome the enemy? Was it by might? Was it by power? You have read that the Lord fought for Israel. Who is going to fight for you next year? Who is going to fight for you next year? I have news for you. The Lord said I should tell you something. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I should tell you something about next year. Are you ready for it? Yes, sir. Stand on your feet.
We just do introduction. And then the Sundays and the Wednesdays that follows, we give the details. And that is why, please try not to miss the service. It's important. Please look at the detail. What is next year going to be for us? What is it going to be for us? A nation without army. A nation without land. They didn't have land. Israel didn't have a land of their own. They were born in a foreign land. They were born in captivity, so they had no plan, they had no army, they had no military. But Israel began, began to acquire land. I don't know somebody that is here, you are wondering, how is it possible for you to buy land? Faith. Faith makes it available without money. Are you hearing me? Money has limitations, faith does not. Are you hearing me? Many of you don't know that money has limitations. Ask rich people, they will say, ask Papa Gina, he will tell you. So ask Papa Gina, ask the former CDN government, he will tell you that money has limitations. Oh, yes. Because I don't want to mention his name because what you may know him. When he was CDN government, he said that money can answer anything because he has stolen so much money. And then after a while, the devil struck him with brain tumor cancer. Brain tumor cancer. Are you hearing me? He said, no problem. They put him to the best hospital. They took him to the UK, the best hospital. The best of the best of the best. The money was there. The German money. They went and they were treating him. They were treating him. And then, one smart journalist heard that he was a hospital went to him in London. Sat by the bedside and said, Sir, Sir, I know that there is no treatment for brain tumor cancer. That's what you think about money. May this help you today. He asked, What do you think about money? He looked at the journalist. He said, Money has disappointed me. So, trust in chariots and serving horses. We will remember the name of the Lord our God. Listen. Some put their trust in their army. Some put their trust in their weapons. But we, no we, no we, you can't locate the source of our strength. That is the secret. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The weapons of our warfare, they are not Canada. They are, you know, this witch, 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 the witch are small. So what we are, the witches are small. They, they, they still have to fly in the night. We don't need to fly. We sit in one place uh, and we send the word to that who want us. We unleash the word uh, We unleash the word uh, we don't need to fly by night. We don't need to fly by day. We just sit. We just sit as our father sits comfortably. And then they say somebody is not feeling well. He says, I am sending the word. He sent his word. And his word healed them. And delivered them from their destructions. And all I need to do is to send the word that will heal you, that will deliver you from every destruction. Shout hallelujah. They are more than a witch. Praise the Lord. Look for me as if you find me. <laughs> Praise the Lord. The man at our back contended with me one time. I said to him, I said, go and do what you normally do. I know you. I said, go and do this. I said, if you go and do it and you don't die, you know God didn't send me to this place. He said, Pastor, please. I know they make trouble. I don't want to fight you. I said, I know you. Praise the Lord. The kingdom of God surpassed so by life. And the violent, they take it by one by power. Hallelujah. 
Listen, a time of meeting pity. So far. Uh -huh. A time of what? It's so far. What are we in now? We are advancing the kingdom of God forcefully. He said, Why are you compare them to come into my heart that my heart will be full? There are times of negotiation, there are times of dissuasion, but there's one type of compelling of compulsion. Are you coming or not? Look at me. Are you coming to church or not? Yeah. Is it by vote? Yes. Answer. Are you coming? He said, please don't come. Yes. Are we connecting? He said, connect if you don't want to come. Amen. Amen. 2023, will you be in the moment and we compare one yes. And I ask the Lord, what will 2023 be about? And he said to me, you look at the scriptures in Joshua chapter 10. You look at the scriptures in Hebrews 11. You look at the scriptures in James. And you read them. And I tell you, 2023, it will be up to us. <laughs>
in the name of the Lord. In your name, in your presence, in your power, and with your word. I have made it. Lord, I have begun. May you take me to the end. To the end. I want to come back. At the end of the year. I want to come you.
You are seed. Some soul through a seed. That's a wise thing to do. You are so grateful that the Lord has brought you to the new year and then you sow a seed to thank Him. Especially when God has been good to you. Amen. You can see the bank details of the ministry or, or the projector, the bank details, whether here or in Germany. You can pay directly to the account or give directly to the account. But there is no better way to start the new year than worshiping God with what is in my hand. Amen. Amen. This is up and say, Father. Father. I am so grateful. I am so grateful. That I have entered this year. Many will not see this year. Many not see this year. But Lord, you brought me. Lord, you brought and I am coming to it. I thank you, Lord. I worship, I worship you with my tithe, with my, tithe, with my offering, with my, with my seed. With my Lord, I am grateful. Lord, I'm grateful. I am thankful. I'm for this new year, I am started in your house. I am started, started by giving up to you. Lord, you will guarantee my 2023. Even as I have become, till the end of Jesus' mighty name, Jesus. you will never lack. This hand you have raised before God will never go down. This hand you have raised before God in giving the first thing this year, you will never beg bread. Amen. You will never beg man to make way for you. Amen. This God you have honored this morning, this first thing in 2023, He will be your dog with Buddha. He will be your windbreaker. In the name of Jesus Christ, I will rebuke every devourer around you. I command doors of favor to be open for you. Amen. Doors of success to be open for you. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ, Amen. I command the miracle to look at you. Amen. Right now, Amen. miracle to look at you. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Father, we thank you. We give you praise. We give you glory. For in Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Please take your seat. I just want to say one thing to you before we close. Tomorrow, not tomorrow, later today, the first service will be 9.30 in the morning. I will encourage you to attend because we just did an introduction of what God wants us to know. Faith is important for divine honest. And then there are things that the Lord wants us to learn about it. Let me say to you, we are into the new year. We are into the new year, praise the Lord. In the new year we have come into, the building is the same. The road is the same. Everything is the same. The new year does not bring anything by itself. What makes the new year what it should be is what to come into it with. Amen. The new year comes like a new baby with nothing. But you see, you have entered with the word of God. And the word of God that you have received is what you need to change anything in the new year. God said, this is our year of divine conquest. Lay hold of the word. God said that we need faith in the new year. Lay hold of the word. God said, that he will fight for you. Lay hold of the word. As much of the word you can carry into the new year is what will make it new in your life. Praise the Lord. The new year has begun for some people some weeks and some months ago because they have made up their mind of what their relationship will be with God in the new year. I pray for you that in the same way you will make up your mind that in this new year, it will be you and God, and God and you. That you will never be alone. That you will be in God's presence. And that you will serve God. And that you will honor the word of God. And I pray the power in the word to work for you. Amen. This new year, the word of God will do wonders in your life. Amen. I bless you with the wonder working power of the word of God. Your testimony will come out of the word. 
I pray that sickness and disease will be a thing of the past in my life. I declare that peace will reign in my life. Amen. Peace will reign in my home. Amen. Peace will reign in my marriage. Amen. I decree that business that has been struggling and struggling and struggling. Now, I command life into it. Amen. I command life into it. Amen. That business will be a success this year. Amen. That project, it has been lingering and lingering and lingering and lingering. I command it to stop now. I command speed upon it now. In the name of Jesus Christ. That payment they refuse to make to you. That truly belongs to you. I am sending an angel to quicken the process that that money will come forth. In the name of Jesus Christ. I say to you, this new year will be genuinely new for you. You will make progress this year. You will testify this year. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. If you know, you will be among those that will testify. Shout hallelujah. Thank you.